Ready. Hello guys, welcome to another Eurobox video. I'm here with Joker out that will be representing hey. Slovenia with Carpe Diem. Hey. Hola, hola, hola. You are consistent on being very fashionable. Yesterday in the red car in the blue carpet, you were telling me that visuals are important in your whole uh, music project. But I want to know what comes first to you guys, music or lyrics when it when you write a song? Uh, most of the time, music comes first. Mm -hmm. yeah. We uh, what usually happens is we get a, maybe a chord progression or a melody going, and then Boyan drops some gibberish English lyrics over it. Drops some fire freestyle <laughs> <laughs> just to just to shape the melody. <laughs> Just to shape the melody, and after that, once we have the vibe of the song going, he drops down some Slovenian lyrics. Okay. Do, does your uh, work uh, progress get done very fast, or is it like always joking and uh, the song gets made in like a week instead of one day? Well, it depends. It really depends. <laughs> if it's a good song, it comes together in half an hour and sometimes. If, if, uh, if it's a complex song, it, we can, we've, I don't know, we've made songs that lasted like six months to like crack, you know? Yeah, we've been making Carpe Diem for the past four years. <laughs> <laughs> Subconsciously, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, tell me about that creative process. Like, when did you start uh, working on Carpe Diem? How did it, how was Carpe Diem born? Well, Carpe Diem was kind of already a rough demo with English gibberish lyrics. Um, when we wanted to apply to the EMA contest um, and when they told us that there will be no contest and they want us to go directly we booked the studio right ahead and went there and the song was basically done in 10 days uh, because the vibe was there uh, the energy was already pretty much set up so all it was missing was the final band touch you know and the lyrics to be done and quite thankfully we had a great time in Hamburg when we were recording there um, and the lyrics wrote themselves basically about everything we did there. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a snippet of how the gibberish lyrics were? <laughs> oh, why don't you tell me that you want me? Why don't you tell me that you need me? <laughs> if you don't want me anymore. <laughs> oh, wow! I wasn't expecting your gibberish lyrics to be so polished, actually. Uh, I forgot I about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I've been reading about you guys, you've been per performing in many... Well, in, in case guys you didn't guess it, Moldova is next, is next yeah. to us. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about his song? Is he gonna qualify or not? What this song has been out. stuck in my head yeah. today when I sang it once and I'm like Suare <laughs> Lesi Luna all day. Yeah, yeah, and it didn't help that they had our, their sound check right after us yes. today, so <laughs> we heard it a lot. Nice. So, um, as I was saying before, we were all uh, you have been performing in many places and very different uh, areas. Um, what is tour life like with you guys? <laughs> We, ju we just need tour bus and <laughs> the life will be perfect. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of shenanigans going on, and uh, we have a lot of good time. The good thing is we never get bored of each other. That's uh, actually really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we have already went through that. Like, we have been spending a lot of time for a longer period, so we know that it works. Mm -hmm. And always when we had a tough time, like let's say. A tour for s when we played for four months constantly and made an album and when we finished with all of that we just went to the vacation together oh, so, wow. yeah. so it's more like a family now yeah um, and you probably have all very uh, different music tastes when it comes to listening music outside Joker out and Eurovision so what is your what bands inspire you or what, where do you draw inspiration from well, you, you've uh, discerned that quite correctly. We're, we come from quite different musical backgrounds. Um, so I by your close choice. By our close choice, yeah. Um, well, um, the, in the beginning, what, what um, connected us, united us, were like popular Slovenian bands, like Bigfoot Mama and Siddhartha, which you probably won't know, but they're very popular in Slovenia. We're also very influenced by the ex-Yugoslavian region of bands. and. Uh, as you can probably hear from our sound, we really like Brit Rock as well. I personally am a fan of you know, Beatles, um, 
uh, I don't know, Oasis, Arctic Monkeys, all of that stuff. So it's. And, but the guys should tell for themselves what they like. Do you want to go ahead? I mean, I like all genres of music, I guess. I listen to a lot of metal, jazz, bluegrass, uh, blues, <laughs> jazz. I mean, I listen to every kind of music if, if it's good. So, yeah. You were an artist. Well, I was growing up on listening to Dire Straits and Toto maybe, uh, of course, Slovenian bands and Balkans. I don't think the most important influences on me were probably Led Zeppelin and Fleetwood Mac. Like, more of the rock stuff, yeah. Yes, and Britney Spears for me. <laughs> oh, also that, yeah. Of course, we love Britney Spears. Of course, everything needs to be, there needs to be a counterpoint to make music interesting, so. Of course. Thank you guys so much for your time. I know there's a lot of people wanting thank to talk you, to you. Thank you, thank so, you. Uh, guys, don't forget to check Carpe Diem and from Joke Route. Yes, Yay. and vote for us. And vote for them. Vote for Slovenia.